Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. Uh, just finished work, took a nap. So today we're going to do SSRF server side request for forgery vulnerabilities. The last video was file inclusion. I hope you like it, was helpful, guys. Uh, it's getting uh, these rooms are getting more details. So I hope my explanation uh, helped you guys follow through answering these questions. Uh, as always, guys, I recommend reading through each task. I'm just going to show you how to answer the questions, but you should read each task, get a full understanding of uh, what uh, these rooms about. So today, we are learning how to exploit server-side request forgery vulnerabilities, allowing you to access eternal server resources. So I guess let's get right into it. Task one, what is an SSRF? And the question is, what does SSRF stand for? And it says right here, server side request forgery. You can copy and paste or type it in. And next question is, as opposed to regular SSRF, what is the other type? And since there are two types, one is regular and the second one is blind. I'll type this one in. All right, task two, SSRF examples. Click the view side button. And the question is, what is the flag from the SSRF example website? So as you read the instruction, this talks about different examples of SSRF attacks. So once expected requests using redirect URL, website THM stock to API ID. The next expected request website URL item transversal, directly transversal with the two dots and two slashes. And this one is a control server subdomain with the nx equal to start remaining pad being and pen turn to a parameter so it's a parameter string so it says right here nx all right and then the last one is it the last one yeah going back to to the original request instead of forcing server so this the website and equals item let's see An instruction using what you learned, try changing the address in the browser below force to force a web server return data from HTTPS server website. That to make things easier, the server, server requesting bar at the bottom mocked browser will show the URL of the website requesting. So it's already highlighted right here website THM API. So you read through this. I believe we're going to use the redirect subdomain. So basically it's website then equals the API website. So what we need to do is remember guys, uh, you just need the website link while the HTTP plus. So we're going to delete that. All right, so the website is server website.thm flag equal id equal id2. Now, the question here says append nx at the end to ignore the rest of the URL. So you go back. This one talks about append. Now, let's try this. This is at the end, right? So, nx. There you go. THM SSR master. All right, let's exit split. And task three, finding an SSFR. 
to start talking about potential spotting web applications in different ways. And the question is, what website can be kept, can be used to catch HTTP requests from a server? And in the last line, it says you can use requestbin.com. All right, task four, defeating common SSFR defenses. Just talk about deny, allow, list, open, redirect. And the question is below, what method can be used to bypass strict rules? And there's one, it says right here, bypass is open, redirect. And what IP address may contain sensitive data in a cloud environment? In the cloud environment, beneficial block access to IP address 169.254.169.254. What type of list is used to permit only serving input? Oh, that's pretty easy. Allow this. And what type of list is used to stop certain import deny list? There you go. And the last one, task five, SSRF practical. We're just gonna find follow this along. I reload my start machine and show a split view. Now let me close this off. All right, let's go Firefox. It says click start machine, go to the support website. Let's highlight this, copy, paste, and I'm gonna paste and go. Now tell us about first create a customer account and sign in. Let's go customer, don't have an account yet. Let's sign up here and let's make an account. So I'm gonna do mine's PLA86 and my address. Make a password and save. And then it says, once you log in, please visit this website. Let's copy and paste the clipboard. Paste a go. And it says, you choose one avatar and click update button. You see the form. All right, let's click update, save. This is the view of the page source code will show you current avatar displaying scheme with the base 64 code. So you right click on the image and spec. Let's view this in full browser mode. And it talks about base 64 encode. So this is what it's referring, this long code right here. Oh, that's pretty long. It says, now let's try making a request again, changing the avatar value to private. So let's click right here and it says, right click, inspect. And it's talking about changing value to private. Okay. So highlight, delete, private. And this update. Okay. Update and get the same screenshot. Okay. I didn't get an error, but try again. Let's see. Let's see value. Okay, so it is. Oh, wrong one, my bad. This one private. There you go. And I got the same thing, URL cannot start with private. And it's talking about 
change the avatar x slash dot transversal dot dot slash private. Okay, let's change it again. Spec was it x slash private and update. It's update. Nice. And it says you have the page source code avatar, you see the current contain base sixty four encoding. Decode this content. All right, so right click and spec, and there you go, guys. Base 64. Now let's copy the code, right click, copy uh, base 64. You could Google it and decode right here. Click the link, copy and paste, and click the deep code button. And there you go. THM, you work out the SSFR. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I already share mine. Um, if you like this video, guys, please give a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, comment to let me know how to improve these videos. And the next one is going to be, let's see. Part of web still web fundamentals and we already did file inclusion SSF RF. So the next video is going to be cross site scripting. I'm going to reset the process and yeah, just want to let you know, guys, I do not have IT experience, but I'm trying to pivot my career and currently. It's my certifications. There you go. I am current and active on CompTIA, IFT plus, A plus, CYSA plus, network, pen test, and security plus. So I'm going to show you guys how to pass these as I pass all these tests. Each of these tests about a month to two months of studying and just grinding with practice tests. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time. Let's see.